My name is Joe Slosser. Uh, I serve on the production team where I've been serving for the past couple of years now. The reason I'm here today is just to talk to you a little bit about what this ministry is about and what brought me here uh, to New Vision and the specific calling to do this ministry. For me, I can tell you my experience began probably about two years ago when I had a meeting with the production team manager. And I sat there in his office as he described for me what this ministry was about. Later, he took me on a tour and showed me around the facilities. And I remember being in awe of all of the equipment that I had seen, not even having a clue that all of this was involved and used behind the scenes during our worship experience. And I wondered, you know, is this really where God has called me to serve? It's so far out of my wheelhouse. Um, but as I would learn that the answer was found in the journey of really what brought me here to New Vision. Some time ago, I found myself in the middle of a storm, you know, probably the worst that I've ever, season I've ever seen in my life. And during that, I realized that focus matters. I was focused on the wrong thing. I was focused on the storm. I couldn't even see the joy on the other side. And the guilt and shame of my sins kept me from worshiping with others. It kept me from serving others and connecting with others. But each day I had someone reach out to me and share the gospel and remind me and encourage me each step of the way to get back up and resume the race. My first introduction to New Vision was from watching the live broadcast online. My wife uh, knew that I had always attended a small church growing up and that I was really nervous about being in a, a mega church or a large church. I was reluctant to worship. I made every excuse possible why I couldn't attend in, per in person. But I found myself later looking through the, on the website, the sermon archive. And the more I listened to the pastor preach here, the more I realized that this was the right place for me. I loved the music. I loved the message, but I didn't know the people and I needed to do that. So why here, why this ministry? Our church was never meant to be confined to, to these four walls, nor was its message. It was meant to be shared. And this very ministry is what shared that gospel with me beyond the four walls. With God's help, that's what gave me the courage to decide to come here and worship in person. And later, the calling to actually serve in this ministry. That persistent calling that I felt was the Holy Spirit at work within me. I need to think for a moment that fear almost kept me from doing it. During the course of my time here, sitting under Pastor Brady and countless others, and being encouraged by others that I worship with, I found the courage and calling to be baptized, to make a public profession of my faith. This was so important to me, much more as an adult, because of what it meant that I am truly a member of this body of believers. Most of what we do here in this ministry is done behind the scenes. And I like it better, honestly, being on the other side of the camera. For me, it's more like, like your phone service. It's something that you may not know how it works, but when you pick up that phone, you hear the dial tone and you know it works. That's us behind the scenes. We don't make the worship experience, but we help enable it. If the Holy Spirit is calling you to do something, some feat in somebody's life, it's according to God's plan for you. Don't let fear quench that spirit. Don't let it keep you from worshiping with others. Don't let it keep you from connecting with others. And more importantly, don't let it keep you from serving others. We serve a God of firsts. We serve because He served us first. He loved us first and He forgave us first. If you're interested in our ministry, please reach out to the production pastor, just as I did. Don't let fear stop you and God bless.